Hello all, uh, this week I've been emailed about converting a GSD file format into an FCM file format. So that's from a format that was used for the Craft Robo into a format that would be useful for the scan and cut machines. Uh, While well, I'm pleased to say that it is possible, it's fairly easy. It will take a little bit of um, working around, but not much at all. So if you've got a favorite file that you want to use over and over again, and it's in a GSD file format, it's not the end of the world. Uh, one other thing to tell you is it will require an extra piece of software, which I will go through with you in this video. And I'll also leave links to where you can find it and all the details either on the blog where this video will be or on YouTube where the video will be uploaded. So I'll crack on and hopefully this will help uh, a few of you out. OK, so I mentioned that you'll need a um, another piece of software in order to complete this conversion. And that piece of software is Shortcuts Lot 4. Now I am using a registered version and it's version 4.044. So just so you're aware um, what version I'm working with. <coughs> now, Susan sent in this um, GSD file, Crayons GSD, and wanted to know how to convert it into an FCM file for use with the Brother Scan and Cut machines. So we will use shortcuts a lot. We'll go up to File, Import, and then there is our file, Crayons GSD. We've got a preview of it there, so we can double check that it's the right one. And then we'll click Open. Now here we have our file all ready to go. We can make changes to it here if we wanted to before we exported it as an FCM, or we could actually just leave it as it is and just go straight up to File, Export, give it a name. I'm going to make it match the original. And then where we have Save as Type, I'm going to click on the little downwards facing arrow and take my cursor and place it over where it says .fcm or fcm. Select that one and then click Save. Now if I take you back to that file that had the original GSD in, there's that one. But now we have this brand new fcm file. That's the one that we can now use with Scan and Cut Canvas. So I'll go over there, log in, start a brand new project, and then I'm going to use the import feature. And that's this one here where it says SVG. But this will actually import DXF and FCM file formats as well for us, as we can see here. Uh, now I click on Choose File go to where I've got my crayons.fcm, click open and OK, and that has now imported that cutting file for use with uh, the Scan and Cut Canvas. Now I am just going to group those so I can increase those in size because there's a couple of other things that I want to make you aware of. And then once they're that size, I'll ungroup them and we'll zoom in a little bit more. And I'll just clear this down as well. Right, so there's a couple of things I need to make you aware of. When the shapes are exported from Shortcuts a lot, they are exported as cutting lines only. So when you import them into Scan and Cut Canvas, it will automatically be set here as cutting line only. We can change this before we export it though, so that's not a problem. Or we can even set it as a drawing line instead. It's entirely up to us. We can do all of the other things that we do with a regular file that we import as an FCM here. So we can obviously add a bit of colour if we need to, just differentiate between things. We can increase the size, change the rotation, and also apply dashed lines to them if we wanted to. I don't on this occasion. I'm going to take you down here though now to look at this word. And I'll just clear these bits out of the way so we can get a bit more of a clearer look. Now here we've got what initially looks like a very simple cutting file. However, if I apply some colour to each of these parts, you will see that it's not that easy. Um, okay, I will need to select everything, deselect this. And then if I use remove 
overlapped. What I've now been able to do is create all sorts of different um, shapes that I can work with. But the problem now that I've got is that I've got a double cut line because obviously the system will try and cut this outline as well as this one. So to get around that, all I need to do is actually delete that part and then group the re remaining bits and pieces. So just a reminder, that was remove overlapped and I'm now going to group them so that they all act as one and resize with each other. So that should avoid any issues you've got there. So anyway, that basically concludes it. After this point, it is a case of just making sure that it has a name up here. Otherwise, it will be called untitled. You can obviously save it to your Canvas um, projects section. And of course, you can download it. If you have Wi-Fi set up, you can use Scan and Cut Transfer to send it straight to your machine for cutting or drawing. If you don't, then you can download it to your PC. Now, just a quick tip here. I did learn this the other day. If you left click on this button, it will automatically download to wherever your downloads are automatically saved to, which is usually a downloads folder. However, if you right click on it and choose Save Target As, you can then choose the location that it gets downloaded to, so you can send it straight to your USB stick as long as it's plugged into your computer. Anyway, that was just a little throwaway tip on the end there. That pretty much concludes the conversion process. Other than that, really, it's just a case of getting to grips with the two different pieces. As I mentioned, I've left links for the Shortcuts Locked software in the YouTube comments and also on the blog. And of course, if you have any questions, you can leave uh, those in either place and I will try and get back to you as soon as possible uh, and that's it thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time for more hints tips and tutorials please subscribe to my youtube channel or visit me on any of these social networking sites